Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Matt Gray. Let's get you ready for the weekend. We're going to start off with a storm whipping through the area with some snow and some breezy weather. Sunday is looking pretty good, so a good end after a bit of a rocky start to the weekend. Our high is going to be in the middle and upper 30s, and so as this storm moves through, we have the potential for some of these warmer areas to see a little bit of rain or wintry mix before we transition over to snow. And I think pretty much everybody's going to get at least a little taste of winter with this one. Pass travel is going to be extremely difficult over the Cascades as we start the day through about lunchtime, maybe even into the early couple of hours of the afternoon. Would definitely recommend not trying to get over those passes as there's likely going to be some intense snowfall as this storm rumbles through. We head into the uh, middle of the afternoon and we start to see the first showers begin to show up in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Could be rain to start, but it will not be that way for very long. And as soon as it shows up, it's pretty much gone. By the time we get to 7 or 8 o'clock, it's up in the mountains in the Silver Valley that's seeing the snow. Everyone else is starting to begin to dry out and clear out a little bit, although there will be some showers that continue to linger through the night that will create some isolated additional accumulations. But overall, not expecting a whole lot out of this. Just a dusting across most of eastern Washington and a dusting to uh, two inches in a few select valley locations, thinking east side of the Rathdrum Prairie, around Sandpoint, parts of the Silver Valley, especially as you get closer to Lookout Pass, places like Wallace. That will be where we see the most snowfall. And so as you plan out your day, a little foggy in the morning, definitely keep an eye out for rapidly changing conditions out on the roads in the afternoon and the evening. Nice look a day on Sunday. Chance for a couple of flurries on Monday. Nothing too serious there. And then high pressure takes over our weather and we stay pretty dry and foggy as we head through the bulk of next week.